Hello, my name is Reverend Francis Mambo. I am the director for Faith Healing Development Organization, an organization which was established during the war. And we have been receiving support from CRS BWH over the years. They have been providing medicines, clothing, education, agriculture, and everything that is making our people to be happy. FHDO, that is Faith Healing Development Organization, we have been focusing in three major areas, that is health, education, and agriculture. Because of the trend of things that happen in our country. So as a result, we took our time with the support of uh, Bread and Water for Africa, we have been able to construct some clinics. That is one major success that we had. We've constructed clinics in Rukel, Bonimbo, and uh, presently there is a construction work going on in Bo. The, the time we started putting up these structures it was at the time when the entire country was devastated medically. Even the government hospitals, it's now that even the government hospitals, they are trying to refurbish them again. It was completely destroyed by the rebels during the war. You see, so the places where we are presently, like in Rukel, we are serving the community of, um, we are serving like 18 villages. According to the report and the research that has been done, we have the highest death rate among pregnant women and the under five children, that out of every 10 children, um, eight will not see their fifth birthday. They eventually die. It's only two that will survive, you know. So one, because the women don't know the importance of coming to clinic to be treated, you know, to avoid all the complications in giving birth. So we now move around the community, we try to sensitize them so that we, they come, we teach them, we educate them the kind of food they, they should eat, how to take care of themselves, how to take care of the child that is born and all these things. And so that's why we now want to like start to be giving them a small package because some of these women, even when they come to the clinic to give birth, they don't have anything. You know, the poverty rate is very high in the country that some to even get a day meal is a problem. You see, to have a day meal is a very big problem. So that's why most of the, the pregnant women, they are anemic. They don't have blood, you see. So we, that's why we provide food. You know, we buy um, some food like blended. They mix it. It's a composition of soya beans, corn, wheat, oil, sugar, they prepare it in the form of porridge, you know, in the morning. And when they take that, all the nutrients that they need to develop the child in the womb, you know, we always give them. So that's what we have been doing over the years. You know, to minimize, you know, the death rate among the women, as well as the under five children. So that's the area of our concentration in all our clinics. Although we do treat um, general cases, but very few. You know, uh, but that is our area of concentration. Pregnant women, under five children. Mm. I just want to say a very big thank you for Bread and Water for Africa. All partners and donors who have been supporting the African program, especially Sierra Leone. We are very much grateful to you all for your sacrifices and the helping hand you have been giving to the people of Africa. 
your sacrifices have put smiles on our faces. Many, 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 many people who have been hopeless, they've now had hope to live. They can now face the future with joy, kindness, and gladness in their hearts. Many women would have died through your sacrifices, medicines have been provided for them. Children whose parents have been killed during the war, they can now face the future with determination, knowing that tomorrow will be better than today. We appreciate your generous gifts. We appreciate your sacrifices from Christian Relief Services, BWA Bread and Water for Africa. It has been a blessing. You people have stood with us in difficult and trying times. God bless you. We love you.